So. Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be sharing with you how to connect your PXN V9 with a Grand Theft Auto 5 manual transmission mod. But not going to be very loud because everyone's still sleeping. And yeah, without further ado, let's dive right into it. Yeah, first thing you have to do is download the mod. I'm going to put the link down in the description. And uh, extract it and then install it just follow the instructions that uh, goes with the uh, download so yeah uh, next thing is of course you gotta have to connect your pxn to your pc and then connect it with the pxn app so i am hoping that my face is not blocking my screen Let's, I hope that and I also hope that you guys can see this. So, yeah, you tag, pair. So, with the manual transmission transmission mod, we're going to be able to use the D input for uh, the uh, uh, Grand Theft Auto 5, which is not possible without the mod. Because when, without the mod, you'll be forced to use a D input because uh, yeah you can map others other other keys other controls with the D input if you want but you can't really map the steering the X I mean the A and D you can't uh, remap those so yeah with the uh, mod we are able to use a D input so what you're gonna have to do is go to configuration if this uh, since this is your first time you go hit add and then make sure that it's in D input should be in D input and just leave everything everything like that just click apply and then just rename that thing to A5 and then boom you already have it and now what you gotta do is you gotta look at your angle your sensitivity and of course the vibration your angle should be 900 sensitivity will depend on depends on you but mine I have I have it on low and then vibration on normal and then just leave everything all the buttons for the PXN uh, in default and then uh, you're done with the with the PXN app let's go down to the PC let's put this one right here for now and uh, once you have downloaded the mod you're gonna have to trigger it by clicking on the bracket and what we call this one open parenthesis on the keyboard there you're gonna have it so just click on enable manual transmission you go there and then you, you want to go down right away to controls and then you go to wheels and pedals and then analog input setup so again you have to go to controls right away controls wheel and pedals analog analog input setup and there you can configure your throttle the brakes clutch steering so on and so forth so just click on enter so you have you have there the highlighted setting for the uh Menu transmission will be, you know, in the uh, white shade. Yeah, you click on enter, and then step on the uh, the accelerator, and then that's done. And then, same goes for the brakes, the clutch, the steering. If you if you have a handbrake, you can. And then there are, there are so many other settings like dead zone, steering. Dead zone offset, throw dead zone, braking dead zone, brake gamma. It's my brake gamma because uh, my uh, brake pedals is uh, not well calibrated. That's my throttle because uh, a very small, very small like uh, amount amount of step onto the pedal will uh, make the car accelerate very fast, which is I don't want that. That's steering gamma and so on and so forth. 
And as soon as you have the uh, analog setup input for the throttle, brake, clutch, and steering, if you go back, you're gonna see that the mod has recognized your wheel now, which is up there. That's PXN uh, V9. And after that, that's it. You're good to go. You can, like, uh, you know, only use your, uh, your PXN to, like, uh, 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 drive the car. So, uh, um, let me show you. So, it's nighttime. Yeah, let's recognize this there. Manifest transmission input set. Mode. And then, see all this down here are your pedals. And, yeah. But, before I forget, you, you might, you're gonna need to go to uh, wheels and pedals and then each pattern sh shifter setup. So, you're gonna have to set that up for the verse, you go to the reverse. For uh, first gear, second gear, third, so on and so forth. Mine is uh, already con configured and set up, so it's already good I think that you know I'm going to first gear, second gear, there, there, so on and so forth. And uh, to go back, and uh, let me show you this right here. I have here mine is uh, LFS slash GA, so right there. And if you look at mine. Right here. Right. It's not really. It's not really showing right here that I I have here. But I also installed an, another mod which is, which will help me. Uh, which will make the game more realistic. In terms of driving, and also for the uh, signal lights, right there. See, it's loading right now. So it just loaded. So you guys can see it right there. These are all my settings for uh, the Grand Theft Auto. I have my paddle shifters as a turn signal, which you get that from the another mod, which is which I will also put the link in the description. I have my uh, D-pad as uh, movement and uh, on, on foot control so I can walk and you know, and go all that. I have here so many other things. I also have here uh, B as my enter and I can also look to the left and to the right without the mouse or without the help of another controller with just the uh, uh, X and Y, which you can configure in the manual transmission mode. Also, I have my lights down here, just in case you guys want that. You know, I can also change my camera right here. But unfortunately, for this uh, version of manual transmission mode, the script for the uh, first person is. Uh, removed because the author of the mod said that he will split it, split it into another script and uh, he will upload the script maybe on the Sunday that's what he said so yeah uh, hoping hoping that he'll be able to get it done and of course give it for free to the public because uh, first person is very dope in this game and uh, especially using the steering wheel so I'm hoping for that and what else do I have to show you mm, if you want to change a whole lot of things in the in here in your PXN app you can refer to the games uh, settings right here for nope not that one key bindings for the game, if you if you want to have a movement general combat whatever, you can if you have uh, things that you like, so that you don't have to reach for your keyboard keyboard every time you walk or you want to go somewhere. But the the only problem with this is that you're not gonna be able to like look around that much. 
So yeah, let me show you guys. So you're not gonna be able to right away I can tell that my uh, sensitivity is not right. I have to go down to low and yeah. change my mind. and yeah that's just it that's just how easy it is download the mod extract it install it just follow the instructions that comes along with the, the um, download and open the mod by clicking on the bracket and the open parenthesis on the keyboard and then go right away to controls and then wheels and pedals and then analog input setup and then from there once you're done with the setup your I mean the mod will recognize your wheel right away and you're almost almost done just the little things and then you're good to go you can drive I hope you guys find this one helpful and if you get questions and uh, what else uh, reactions or whatever just uh, feel free to write them down in the comment section and I uh, hope you guys have a good day have a good time, have a good life, and always remember that God is in control, whatever happens in life. Stay safe, everyone. God bless.